let's talk about some automation tricks. Personally, I don't really record fader rides that much. I mean, I hardly ever do it. What I prefer to do is just sort of neatly raise a certain bit uh, in volume or lower another bit. It's a bit tricky to make that sort of um, that line flow in an elegant manner. Um, I'll show you what I mean. If you, for instance, want to raise this bit, you would need to select it and then you can drag it up. Contrary to what you're used to uh, with using the multi-tool in uh, the waveform view, in the volume view, uh, things are a bit different. If you want to select, you have to use the bottom bit and then you use the top bit to drag things up and down. This immediately exposes a problem uh, with this workflow in that um, it creates these sudden jumps in level. Um, I don't like that. So what you could do is use command or control or windows key. I think it's the windows key. Yeah. And create uh, another breakpoint and then with alt get rid of these. Um, it takes a bit of work, and the problem is that you will probably have moved this line. As you can see, I did in both cases. Um, by using that breakpoint, by creating that new breakpoint, I moved that line. I changed the level of it. I don't want to do that. I want everything nice and tidy and perfectly um, horizontal. So there's a different way of doing this. I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so there's a function in Pro Tools that allows you to create a breakpoint at your cursor or at both ends of your selection. It's command slash for Mac and it's control slash for Windows. As you can see, there's been a breakpoint created here. Um, so that's always handy because it, it won't change the level of doing this. Like, see, I already changed the level there. That's not very accurate. What you can also do with it is make a selection and then make two breakpoints. Now, here's where it gets a bit interesting. Say those are the in and out points of uh, the automation move you want to make and you want to create a fade in, a horizontal line and a fade out. How do you do this? Well, once you've made these two breakpoints by making a selection and using control or command slash, you make a smaller selection, which encompasses the region you want to lift as a flat line, you hit Alt and you drag it up. Boom. This is what I want. And now if you drag it up and down in a normal fashion, you'll get exactly what I don't want. But if you use Alt and do that, it'll do exactly what I want. So again, say this is the greater region. Let's make some breakpoints there. Let's say this is a smaller region. I want to turn this down. Alt. Boom. This makes me happy. And don't think this only works when you're using touch. Of course it doesn't. You can apply this even if you're using a mouse. It is just a generally handy Pro Tools automation tip. All right, see you for the next Detouch tips and tricks. And uh, this time, not exclusive to Detouch at all. Okay, see you later. If you like this video and want to see more of them, please subscribe below. If you have any specific questions you need answers to, please follow the link in the description to learn more about Studio One-on-One -on -one online teaching sessions.